incredible moment for me. Have a grenade. Yeah, wow, this laser sucks against these. <laughs> Ow. Are you okay? Buddy, are you okay? Are you no. all right? I'm, I'm trying dead. CPR. This is technically chest compressions. Anyway. Catch. Well, that's not where I wanted that to go. Ah! Nailed every single shot I took. You guys saw it. Clip it now. No, wait, no, wait. Don't clip it. Don't clip it. Just... Man, those kids are jacked. I'm sorry? She needs to be gotten about that before we speak on that topic. Uh... Scott, I think it's it's starting to become a real war of the world scene out here. I have absolutely no idea what that sound was, but just the sound alone made me brown my jorts. I'm going to need to go home, um, maybe call my mom, maybe stock up on ammo and food. I don't know. I'm getting out of here, Scott. Back to you at Channel Splevin News. Ooh, that's not great. See you later. A lot about uh, on these these uh, infomercials you see me on is my faith. One of my favorite prayers is that now I lay me down to sleep, I pray the Lord my soul to keep. And if I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Well, what if you prayed that as a guarantee? I'm off. <laughs> I'm offering you the railroad spike pillow. That's right. It's totally comfy. You can sleep anywhere you want. Lay it down. Fluff it out. It's always got the cold side on top. You lay down, and as soon as you pass out, boom, railroad spike right through the temple. You have truly laid down to sleep and given your soul to the Lord immediately. Prayed and fulfilled in just an hour. ChipCoffee.com <laughs> I'm Bip Coffee. I'm Chip Coffee's distant, distant cousin from the backwoods of Louisiana. I'm here to tell you about a product I got for you. You ever be drinking and driving and the cops find you and pull you over? Well, how about this? You get my police deflector and, uh, and uh, install it in your vehicle, whatever it is. And uh, when, uh, and uh, whenever, whenever cops come your way, you turn it on and make a cop go bippity bam bam. Uh, Kip Boffin, police deflect. Go to chipcoffee.com today. Thank you so much. Wait, we only need I'm one still... civilian. We only need one civilian. Oh, I see. Escort citizen unit. Wait, there we go. What the freak? Why'd you kill We only needed 20 civilians to get through. To get the to get the, the thing done. But, but those poor souls, they, they, they needed to survive too. Wait, how come well, it says 19 out of 20? Needed is a stretch. Yep, everybody spit on me, please. Please. Wait, don't clip that. When I said I wanted a sub, I meant a Subway sandwich. Yeah. Not for you to start acting like a dog. Like, what are you doing, man? Have some self-respect. Bailiff? Whack his pee-pee! Oh, hi! <laughs> Hello, my son! Both my children and my wife, greetings, welcome to the command center. The smallest things in the world, part two. Firstly, this is the world's smallest functional bicycle. It was made so you could fit inside a handbag and use it- Just for the future, I guess. Whenever a, any YouTube video or short pops up and they talk like this and there's something going on in the well and then and then I I actually get very close to throwing my phone. Man, I'm having an angry day. I'm having an angry day. That's, that's what I want. I want rewards for murder. <laughs> I don't know. How's going everybody? My name is Chip Coffee and I'm here to sell you a nice little tool for the house. It's Chekhov's gun. Now I know what you're thinking. Is it like the movie? Well, kind of. 
It's like the movies or, you know, stage shows. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, where, you know, it's like that rule. But it's also uh, a gun once owned by the actor that played Jensen Chekhov Pavel Andreevich on the show Star Trek. Um, so if you would like a historic gun that also has to be used every time it's seen, come on down to chipcoffee.com and buy Chekhov's gun. Thank you so much. But I, you just don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, it's still is alive. You're kidding me. No way! No this can't be real. way! So the resupply's up on the cliff? I just can't even... You can't make this stuff up. You hear that? What? You don't hear two semi-trucks making out? That you are love beyond reason, you have value beyond proof, and you're not perfect just the way that you are. You are beings of immense potential and possibility, and that can only be achieved through hard work, through suffering, and through an honest, honest pursuit of the Heavenly Father. So pursue what is hard, pursue what is true. Remember that I love you guys, uh, and I'll see you in the next stream. But until then, and as always, long live the rebellion.